Cool, uh, my name is Josh Saoni, um, also known as Mr. E. Um, I'm a graffiti artist and an airbrush artist. Um, today was just a get together between a whole bunch of mates. Um, we haven't seen each other in a while and we just wanted to catch up and paint a wall together. Some of the guys here I haven't seen for uh, probably eight, eight years. Um, just because we all spread around the country and I live in Australia, so it's a good chance for us to catch up. Today, this is just all out of, out of our own pocket. Um, just wanted to get together and pay for our own paint and turn up and just paint for the love of it. I guess what makes us unique is that our crew is uh, a whole group of Polynesians um, that all share the, the passion um, for art in general, um, whether it be graffiti art or other art forms that um, we're all involved in. FDKNS is a bit of an art collaborative, I guess, of, of friends that all share the passion for graffiti art. I wouldn't even really say it's a crew, I guess we'd say that we're more of a family or ainga. FDKNS stands for Forever Deaf Kings Never Surrender. The history of FDKNS is that there used to be two crews, um, FDK from uh, Otara and KNS from Mangere. Um, in 1991, um, both those crews came together and formed FDKNS through two of the members in each of the crews, uh, Chill and Broski. Um, they were cousins, um, and that's what brought the two crews together. I got involved through um, one of the founding members named Dean, um, also known as Viner. Um, he's the one that kind of got me into painting walls and eventually um, with, after painting with them for a while they asked me to join the crew. I don't know, just I guess when you're at the wall and you're just painting you just kind of zone out and in your own zone and um, yeah, don't know how to explain it, it's just it's hard to put it into words to be honest. Whether it be FDKNS or any crew, I guess um, it just comes down to I you know just, just having the passion for it and, and practicing and fine-tuning your craft. Um, my advice would be to um, just draw sketch as much as you can and work on your style um, just to set yourself apart from from other people who just kind of follow trends and do the same thing. If you kind of, you know, work on your own style and, and perfect it, you know, that's what will catch other crew's eyes and want to get you involved. Like when we're painting in South Auckland, all we get is love from the community. Um, we get people kind of, they come and buy us food and drinks and we always hear positive things. We haven't really come across many negative kind of stereotypes or negative comments from the community, which is, you know, I'm pretty happy happy about. Baby, go me